Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the midweek market update. So, guys, in this session, I'm going to be updating you on the pairs that we did on the last session. So, we're going to be taking a look at those pairs, how they've been progressing, and we're also going to be focusing any potential new entries that we might be executing on these pairs. Now, guys, if you did watch the previous session, then you do know that we are mainly focused on what on these two sessions. So the first pair is going to be the Euro USD, and the second one is going to be what the GBP USD. So with this one. I'm not going to go too much into detail because I've already broken this down. But just to give you a glimpse, so on the higher time frame, we do see price giving us what this seven pulse movement followed by what this sideways corrective structure that from a breakout. This is confirming that this is having what a high probability of impulsing all the way to the downside. And as we're moving on to what our lower time frame. So on the lower time frame, so price gave us what this is our what is our first position so we executed this as our, as our first entry so currently we are running in profits and already moved with our stop loss into break even so now as we're looking at price again it's giving us what another opportunity for us to execute as you can see price is presenting us with what with this continuation structure so we are setting what our order on the breakout so stop on the breakout take profit well, all the way to the downside stop loss all the way to the upside so this is how i'm looking at what your euro usd i'm looking for a potential scaling guys as you can see price is giving us what this corrective structure as our second entry on this pair so that's what i'm looking at on euro usd and now on to my next pair which is the gbp usd so gbp usd on this one i'm currently holding a position so high time frame this is our heavy impulsive movement down this is my side is corrective structure that is at the breakout point so this is having what high probability of impulsing to the downside if it does decide to commit. So now moving on to our mid time frame, we do see price giving us what this impulsive movement and not this side is corrective structure. So now we're dropping into the lower time frame. So on the lower time frame, this is how we initially took this position. As you can see on the breakout, but price is now cutting back inside the pattern. So we're waiting for price to give us what a breakout over here because why our stop loss is still all the way to the upside we are currently floating in a loss so press has not yet hit our stop loss but if this is has to do to drop and give us what the breakout then this would be having what the higher probability of impulsing all the way to the downside so this is how i'm mainly focused on this pair gbp usd i'm initially waiting for press to give me what a breakout to confirm what those sells to them downside and take me in but as you guys can see the us dollar is both involved on this one so i will not be executing what this trade on euro usd immediately why because i'm still having what this position on gbp that is still open to risk unless this does drop all the way to the downside and reaches one percent profit while this is still around this area that is when i can execute you can only execute your us dollar if you did not execute gbp usd then you're more than welcome to execute but yeah guys for now this is going to be the end of our session keeping it nice and short just a quick update on the pairs that we are focused on but yeah guys i will continue to update you if these pairs do continue to progress in our direction or that they stop us at or give us any profits i will update you in our platform but guys for now this is the end hopefully this session was very informative and i'll see you next time take care